What's up, YouTube? This your boy Chaney Live coming at y'all with another vlog once again. I just want to thank y'all for being a uh, part of this journey. Y'all been very supportive, staying with me through my transitions. Uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure, man. It's been a pleasure. So, this particular vlog, we're going to try to make this one short, but I just want to talk to y'all about eating clean and then living a healthy lifestyle when it comes to food, diet, things of that nature. The biggest thing I have an issue with or the, the one of the main things I did personally, um, now I practice a lot of healthy eating. I practice minimizing my diet. I don't eat as much as often as I normally would. But the first thing I did before I could start controlling salts and fats and this and that and this and that, the most important thing that I did, and the first thing I did is I started off by eliminating everything that is not food, okay? If it's not food, don't put it in your body, don't eat it. Now, a lot of people say, shit, what you talking about? I only eat food. Oh yeah? Check this out. Things that are not food. Candy. Candy is not food, okay? It's not food. It's okay, man. Don't get me wrong. It's okay to pick up. Oh, shit. It's a piece of candy. Let me eat a little piece. It's okay. But going buying this shit with your groceries is not okay. All right? That's not cool. Candy is not food. Another thing. Soda. Soda is not drink, bro. It's not, man. Soda is sugar water. Imagine taking, pouring you a glass of water, right? And putting sugar in there. You know what I mean? Just pouring a bunch of sugar in there and drinking it. That is what soda is, man. I'm gonna tell you how. I've drunk soda all my life. Don't get me wrong. The stuff that I'm mentioning to y'all is not stuff that I don't know about. I've drunk soda all my life. Every time I got a, a value meal from McDonald's, every time I got a burger and a fry from any fast food place, I always got a soda. Okay, then I, then I, then I developed and I started getting teas. Okay, now I'm at a point where I don't even get a daggone drink. Unless it's, a, I'd be like, man, you can pour me a water. But I normally keep water with me every, everywhere I go. So I always got my drink. I don't never need no drink, okay? But soda, man. I stopped drinking sodas, man, for probably about six months. No soda at all whatsoever. No need. What is this crap? Why do we have? Why was it invented? You know, if don't get me wrong, it's for kids, for kids, right? Little kids that like candy and sugar and crap, cakes and snacks. Soda's great, but for an adult that knows better, like when you grow up, candies and cupcakes and you can't still be eating that shit now, now. Now, don't get me wrong. When it's somebody's birthday, I'm showing up. I love birthday cake. Okay? Now, here's the thing. I still eat that type stuff, but it's on special occasions. You know what I'm saying? At one point, man, I was buying birthday cakes with my shopping trip. Like, let me get the, let me get the rainbow cake from Walmart. Shit, I just eat the rainbow cake. Wasn't nobody, it didn't even have to be nobody's birthday, man. I'm just tearing the cake up. 
give me a gallon of milk and some rainbow cake, man. And I'm good to go to eat that with the icing, with the buttercream icing, you know? And I still like that stuff. But it's like when you become when you become an adult, you know, it's like you know better. You know that it's poison. You know that it's no good. You know, and that may that should motivate you not to allow your kids to have some of this stuff. You know what I mean? So anyway, I stopped drinking soda for six months. Let me get back to the point. You know, and I'm driving down the street. My wife get a got a soda, you know. And it's not to take anything from her. Everybody kind of do develop in their own time. You know what I mean? I'm ahead of my time and sh when it comes to certain things. But she's like, you want a sip of soda? I'm like, yeah, I'm thirsty. Okay, I don't have my water with me this particular day, so anything wet was going to be good. At least I thought. So I take the soda, it was a Coke, it was crispy, it was cold. Bi it was in a bottle, so you know them bubbles was popping, you know what I mean? It was just like, God, I like the commercial, you pop that bad boy open, bubbles everywhere. just. You know, so I'm, I'm like, yes. So I drink the soda, and I'm like, ooh. You know, I swallow it, and I'm like, mm. Like, what? This, it hurt, okay? The soda freaking hurt, man. Like, why are we drinking stuff that hurt? Like, I understand when you've done it so much as a kid, you like that daggone acid feeling going down your throat. You like that burn. That, ah, you know what I mean? But try, try not doing it for like six months. Try getting off of it and then go back and try it. And you're going to say to yourself, like, yo, that was, I'm like, this is an uncomfortable drink. Don't you know when you laying in the shade and you sipping on lemonade and it's relaxing, it's cool, it's smooth, everything is nice and mellow and smooth. When I drunk this soda, it hurt. I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, this drink is not, this ain't fun. Like, this drink hurt. Like, and I know y'all talking, I'm drinking some Hennessy. That don't have nothing to do with that, okay? We'll get to that on another vlog, okay? We'll talk about that on another vlog. This don't hurt. Soda hurt more than it. Y'all think this hurt? Like, when y'all drink, when y'all take a drink of this, like most people, they take a drink of this, and they talk about, oh, it is strong. Oh, it hurt. It's just, ow. Soda hurt more than this. Soda is a more painful and uncomfortable drink to swallow than this. This ain't no joke, but soda is worse than this as far as the smoothness and the feeling going down and stuff like that. So anyway, man, I wanted to focus on soda because it's sugar water, it's candy water. Why are we drinking candy water? You know what I mean? Why are we drinking sugar water? You know, um... You know, and then if you think about it, when you're thirsty and your body is craving for hydration and you get a soda and you drink it, if you really, you got to get to know your body, man. You got to really get in tune with your body because we all are doing things that we were taught that we were kind of raised to do, but we not really getting to know your body like I made a video about fasting like when you cut certain stuff off and then you go back to it then you get to know your body like your body will tell you what not to do it'll say okay drink this drink but do not drink this drink if you drink this drink is I'm, I'm gonna re, I'm gonna get to, I'm, I'm gonna act up but if you drink this drink I'm gonna be cool your body will tell you like it's so like I drink protein drinks, right? My body like, mm -mm, don't drink this protein drink. Drink this protein drink. Like this protein drink 
almost had me in the hospital. Like my body would not digest it, it would not respond to it, it had too much stuff in it. I said, oh, let me step my game up and get a better protein drink, a protein mix. I got a better protein mix and it had so much crap in it, my body shut down, okay? Heart rate through the ceiling. All right, so I said, you know what? Let me go back to the other protein drink that I was drinking where I wasn't having any problems. Let me see how my body respond. Let me see if my body cut off the protein and is done with it permanently, or if it was this particular one that caused me the problem, okay? So now I went back to the protein I was drinking, body like, that's the one. So listen to your body, man. If you drink a soda and it hurt, don't keep drinking it because you was raised on it. Don't keep drinking it because it's your favorite flavor soda. If it don't feel good going down, drink something that feel good going down. If you eat, if you drink, like, okay, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of people that are lactose intolerant, right? Some people develop lactose intolerance you know what i'm saying some people don't get it until they later on in life you know what i mean but they'll keep drinking milk and they'll keep drinking it because they was raised on they'll keep eating cereal because they ate cereal all their life that ain't a reason listen to your body don't do what you were raised to do don't do what mama did don't do what daddy did don't do what cuz the cuzzo did don't do what sister and brother did. Do what your body tell you to do. Okay, if you look in the mirror and you want to improve on certain things on your body, if you see certain things happening to your body that you know inside yourself that ain't right, whether it's weight, whether it's skin, your skin breaking out, getting bumps, um heart rate through the roof you might be you doing too many too much caffeine it could be so many things but it's time for us health wise to start listening to our bodies do not listen to yourself do not continue to do what you did as a child okay listen to your body if your body is responding in a way that is not correct and you can look at yourself and say okay this pimple came from somewhere and women sometimes get them during their period that's different be like okay my period coming i got a pimple okay but if your period ain't coming and you got a pimple and then you get another one and another one change your diet man it's something that you eating. Sometimes you got to stop eating everything and start eating everything one thing at a time. Like, okay, let me try this one. Th I'm, I'm okay today. I'm gonna eat carrots. Let me see what happens. You may eat them carrots and be at, and, and and go to work or to the gym or to your family. How you may be turned up somewhere. All because of them carrots and you know what because you're not stuffing your body with a whole bunch of different shit at one time you you may find out that carrot is your magic food like I'm man I'm going out on a date I got my dress I got my outfit I'm gonna eat this carrot and I'm a, and, and he gonna go cra I'm gonna I'm drive him crazy all because of a carrot you know what I'm saying some people you know, it could be a different vegetable. It could be a different fruit. Like, oh snap, men taking all of these pills to do all of these things to themselves sexually and stuff. You may mess around and eat a certain fruit or vegetable and find out that naturally that's what you need to increase your libido or whatever it, the situation may be. But since you stuffing all of this crap in your body at once you don't know what's working and what's not working so take a step back fast clean yourself out 
gradually incorporate things and find out what things complement you physically and what things don't complement you physically. And then once you do that, you'll have you'll have all the medicine you need. You don't have to go to worry about going to the doctors because you sick. You know how to fight sickness. You know how to fight everything. You, 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 man, it's people that be getting rid of cancer, AIDS, herpes, all types of shit. All because of their diet, man. So, with all that being said, this is just some more knowledge for my people. Thank you for watching, subscribing. This is your boy Chaney Live. Thanks for your patience in between these vlogs. It's a lot of personal stuff that go on in people's lives where they got to make a judge. You know, it's just stuff going on. Sometimes I can't get back to y'all as quick as I want to, but we working on it. Make sure y'all subscribe. Like the video. And I'll see you on the next vlog.